It was requested by a number of us to do a final term. She wasn't my choice for mayor last year. No, I missed the, the, uh, the meeting that was elected, and I thought at the time that it was time for a change. But Councillor Holman um, became mayor last year, and I have to say, I think she did a fantastic job. She's had an amazingly difficult year dealing with some very difficult issues. Right? And regardless of um, this 1979 resolution, which was sprung as a trap right at the last moment, nobody had been made aware of it, nobody had talked to any of the officers to ask about its relevance, right? A resolution that had already been broken on at least three occasions since it had been put in place. Right? The whole point of that resolution was to try and stop one person being able to stand, which I think is, that, as we've already discussed here this evening, we've already been said, is a democratic right. If you actually stop people standing for positions once they're elected, what's the next thing? Do you actually preclude certain people from being elected? I mean, there was a time when Lyme was a rotten borough and you couldn't uh, have a vote unless you owned a certain amount of property. Should we try moving back to those days? You, once you start not allowing people to stand for positions, it's a very, very slippery slope. Once you had two candidates, it came down to a very clear vote, and that's democracy.